We've been here before. Y'all don't know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. What is going on, y'all? We have got to talk about this Quavo and Sweetie situation. This viral video of them getting into it on the elevator. Like, girl, wasn't we just here several years ago with Beyonce and Jay-Z? Like, what the hell? The low-budget version of that situation. Um, and no Solange to, like, really do what she needed to do. Um, there's been a big conversation about their relationship um, after this video. Um, a lot of folks are saying, you can tell the sweetie is... You know, she caused the issue. She did something. Look how she was. Look how she was responding. Uh, and it wasn't just Quavo's fault. Da 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 da. And they got folks who saying Quavo like is an abuser. Like you can tell by looking at this footage that something is not right. And honestly, I would be completely honest. Um. Girl, I gotta take a minute. I gotta take a minute. I'm just tired of male rappers. <laughs> I am. If there's one or two things that black male rappers have in common, it is them always being in a relationship with a light skinned woman, one non black woman, or being an abuser. We've been here before. Like, it's too many at this point. It's too many. And ain't that many black male artists that are the main, like mainstream, but. If we can throw a rock and hit an abuser, what does that mean? What does that say about these these this, this, these people who are hyper visible, have a lot of money, a lot of resources, are doing things like this? Like you literally have this man. I'm going to watch the video while I'm, while I'm talking about it. You have this like you see, sweetie. Essentially, looks like you know she got a like she's trying to throw him off the elevator. Like she trying to stop him. She trying to. She like she was like once he once she saw him trying to get on the elevator. She trying to leave and he pushes her down um, and takes the bag um, or box or whatever it is in and she just sits down the whole time. And I'm like, what is this? Like, what is going on? And Quavo's just standing right there, uh, standing over her, looking at her. Like, there's no way in the hell that I'm getting into it with my partner. And. Something like that. I'm finna leave. I'm like, uh, uh this ain't it. So he just swung her, like literally swung her to the back. And she's sitting down like she's like rocking. And I don't blame her because this is like a traumatic experience. Like it probably ain't the first time that this has happened. Now he's getting off the elevator and he, um, it's blocking the elevator door so it won't close. And yeah, so we just still sitting down. And apparently he's talking to her. And they just got to fight. Like, they just got to fight. Like, I, I have to go back and watch this again because I'm just, uh, like, I'm just to see him. Like, he was, like, she's the one on him. Like, she needs to, I don't I'm blame him. Like, he was probably doing something. And he could have just left. This is my issue. He was already off the elevator. He was already off the elevator. Like, what? Like, going back and look at it, he was already off the elevator. So, what was his need to get on the elevator with her? Like, he, like, why is he trying to get back? Like, I don't understand that. Like, and then she trying to get off the elevator, and then he throws her down. Like, you cannot tell me. You cannot try to make Sweetie the aggressor. You cannot do that, and that's what men are trying to do right now. It's just that uh, y'all trying to justify y'all being abusive in y'all own relationships, and there's some women out here justifying it too because they think this shit is normal, and it's not normal. Because what happens when you go too far as a person who has lost a family member to a domestic situation, to domestic violence? How can you just like when do you say when like like? There's only a point, there's only a moment when it goes too far. Y'all are on the elevator fighting. So what happens if this is happening and y'all in the car or y'all somewhere else and somebody lose control? Or what happens when you snap like this that you are throwing somebody? That's not it. That's that's a toxic relationship. 
And now you have all these men, even these um, these artists, other male artists are coming out and saying stuff and trying to justify, oh, like this is this is not love, this is toxic. And we have created a culture. We have not, that's, I'm not gonna say we have created a culture. We're so used to this, like this is like the, like the status quo or whatever you wanna say, like this is acceptable for this person to be experienced and this is not. And it goes back, make me think about what Sweetie said on Twitter when she was talking about she did not want to be in a relationship and she, she named what sounded like abuse. It sounded like abuse, She's like she was talking about mentally. And I guarantee, I, I guarantee you, this is not the first time they have got into it physically like this. You can tell this is a known thing, like they do this. And it's just way too much. And I hope that she gets away from him. Um, I hope that she gets away from it because this is toxic. This is, oh my gosh, like, that's just, that's why I'm just like, girl. And, like, this is just like normal. It's just like, girl, like, he just, he see her. Like, there's, you can't tell me if this was me and I just got to fight with my partner. We, I just, to swing her. Like, what the, was in the damn bag? What was in the box? that was so important for him to like grab it from her. Like what was in there for him to be so pressed and so upset? I'm watching again because I want to detail this. Like she just swung on him, she done grabbed the bag. Like it's just a lot going on in this little minute and 34 seconds. And he done looked dead at the camera because he know, oh Lord, yeah, you in danger, girl. And he just standing over her. He just standing over her. Like, how do you throw somebody on the elevator and then stand over them? Like, even then, he could have been talking like, are you okay? What's going on? Like, you doing too much. That, like, even that would have been better than just standing over her. Like, like what's going on? Like, he didn't care. He did not care. This is a controlling situation. And he's so nervous, he don't know what to do. Just like, just a little fat forehead ass. I just can't. And she deserves better than this. And he didn't grab the bag that she originally had. So what's in there? Is it money in there or something? Like what's going on? I guess it's just too much. Like it's just too much. Like, I don't even know what to start. Like it's just, I, like I take, I, I take domestic violence very, very serious. It should be taken serious. Um, and just to see like another, like another, another male rapper, you know, we seeing, we seeing it. Because I can just name a whole bunch. We got Chris Brown, Rihanna, um, and not like Jay-Z, you know, being ment mentally um, toxic to his wife. Um, you have conversations about who was that? I can't think like should well should night was abusive to Michelle A. Um, who else is it? It's another like there's so many like male rappers who have had this type of energy. Like not even just male rappers, but male artists. Ike with Tina. Um, who else? Like it's just like what is y'all like? There's a problem. So this is not a woman situation. This is a men situation. This is a men type of situation where y'all feel the need to be so upset or so mad about something that you put your hands on somebody. Like that's what it is and we can, there's been so many conversations about this. So this is not a, this is not a woman situation because that's what the, the conversation is trying to be like on, on social media that oh, um, like Sweetie hit him first and done. if he was in danger and he felt in danger or whatever, he had plenty of opportunity to, to leave. He was not, his life was not in threat. I could see him, you know, fend her off and get her off, but there was no need for him to get back on the elevator, to chase home the elevator. Whatever was in this damn box, as y'all claim y'all got as much money as y'all got, then it shouldn't have been that serious. Like you got this, you got all this coin and stuff, then just like, girl, gone. I'm not gonna be in a situation like this. You are like, what? Like what? What's going on, bro? Like this ain't making no sense. I want y'all to sign off and let me know what y'all thought about it. I'm gonna read a bit, a little bit of it. 
Um, as Sweetie lay on the ground, possibly injured, Quavo stands there without helping her up. That's my issue is that she was laying on the ground. She was sitting down. He didn't even check and make sure she was okay. Girl. Oh, God. Quavo stands there without helping her up. Eventually, elevator opens with the guy standing outside, but he doesn't get on, and the door shuts again. Finally, the door lets open on the floor. Quavo starts to get off of the case, using it to keep the door open, and Sweetie picks himself up, and Sweetie picks herself up and limps up. Like, she looked like she was injured. Like, she looked like she was injured. We spoke with Swords on both sides, and they both said the incident was went down in 2020 at an apartment building where Sweetie was renting. Wow. Wow, that's last month. When was that? February? Sweetie and Quavo was out here recording themselves, giving each other gifts for um for Valentine's Day. Not too long ago, Sweetie was on Instagram, um, or whatever he didn't give you no know, Birkin bag, um, then he don't love you. Like I said in the video, like I I got what she was saying with it, like girl. You know, if you want me to be the stay-at-home girl and all the other stuff, then you need to be giving me some money. You need to be making sure I'm taken care of. I, I, I read it as that. But it seems like a lot of y'all need respect. And we should be, you know, getting respect more than the, all these materialistic things. And that's not something that you... <clears throat> that, that's not your fault that you're not getting. It's these men. So I don't want to put the the the, the like... The responsibility for men to respect women on women, it should ultimately be placed upon men. But this parading around relationships and and, and like making it seem that everything is just peachy, uh, all of these things, and it's just like it's unrealistic. And y'all be going through all of this stuff. Y'all be going through all of this, like, this, and y'all just crop and edit and Photoshop and. Post what y'all want to, and y'all be around here in relationships that are trash. That, that's why I was like, this influencer, I don't know what to call I don't want to call it influencer stuff. I, I don't want to call it that, but it's just, I really hate relationship goals. I abolish relationship goals because we see what happens. Like, these folks be relationship goals the whole time they around here hating each other. They can't stand each other, they don't want to be around each other, they fighting on elevators. Couples goes all of that. I'm not amazed or amused or even entertained by seeing pictures of folks on vacations and all of that. I, I just, you have to take that shit with a grain of salt at this point. You have to make your relationship for what it is, girl. And stop, like, you, we can't be out here, oh, they relationship, girl, you just will never know. Because ain't nobody posting that shit. Ain't nobody posting if they just got into it with their boyfriend like that. Ain't nobody around here tweeting about it. Ain't, no, like, ain't that many people doing it. It's people want you to see. And I wonder why. I think it needs to be a thought process of why are we so hungry to portray this picture-perfect stuff on social media. Why? Where is that coming from? Why do we feel the need to show everybody, oh, my life is just so perfect. Look at all this. Like Celebrities do that. And then we find out, damn, y'all was going through all of this shit. Like, it's like, oh my God, it's hard for us to even, like, put that together. Like, damn. Like, it's hard for me to even, like, sitting there, sitting down, thinking about this, considering all the stuff that Sweetie and Quavo was doing all over social media, and to find out they was out here dealing with that. Like, she was out here dealing with that. And then she talked about it. Ooh, I don't know. The video was a lot. It was extremely triggering, girl. Y'all watch it. Tell me what y'all thought about it, girl. And child, I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye.